books tell us a lot about the country's culture. This is because books preserve not only words and pictures, but we can also use them to learn about the technologies and traditions of the country at the time the books were produced, as well as the taste and sensibilities of the past. Hello, I am Takahiro Sasaki. I research Japanese rare books at Keio University's Institute of Oriental Classics. You can find a considerable variety in Japanese rare books in the design, bindings, shape, size, and the color of the covers. Such variety is quite unique to Japanese books. One of the major factors that made this diversity possible is, obviously, paper, the main material used in books and the main topic of this course. Just as there are many kinds of books, there are many different types of washi, traditional Japanese paper. They are different in color, texture, strength, and durability depending on the materials used, production and processing methods. Why did Japanese people produce such a variety of paper and how did they choose paper for books? Learning about the paper used in rare books will give you a deeper understanding of Japanese culture. In this two-week course, you will learn about the paper used in old Japanese books from both a scientific and cultural perspective. In the first week, we will study the definition and history of Japanese paper along with its manufacturing methods and materials as well as how to distinguish the different types of washi. Then, in the second week, you will learn about Japanese paper making techniques, focusing on the processing of the beautiful decorative papers used in books and discuss why and when people use such decorative papers. You will find so many beautiful Japanese rare books in our library, some books are gorgeous with beautiful covers. You'll come to understand that paper plays an important role in the beauty of rare books. I'm sure you'll enjoy this course and discover interesting aspects of Japanese book culture. What's more, you will be able to enhance your knowledge of Japanese culture and art in general. Why not join us in learning about the fascinating world of Washington?